Hello! For those of you that do not know me, I am Brandon Webb, and today we're going to continue our last tutorial on creating a modal window. And inside that we're going to embed a iframe that holds uh, one of our YouTube videos. So, we're going to see here we have our modal window. I'm going to go back into my main view, so I'm going to minimize this. Again, we're continuing off the development of our ZWP window component. In our main view, we have our open pop-up link, which is a link to action. We're going to our pop-up view, and in here we're going to delete the text view, and we're going to insert an iframe. So we'll just call this iframe, and type iframe. So the main property of this is the source that we're going to call. We can't embed the code in ABAP of DIM Pro, but we can point to another HTML file uh, that has the code. For those of you with Portal, you can do this with a, with a KM hosted file, but what we're going to do is use Coding Gen. It's uh, a cloud development tool. Quick hit our message here. So I'm going to right click on HTTP documents. I'm going to create a new file. The file name is going to be wdp.html. And once I have that file created, I'm going to double click on it. I'm going to select my web editor. So obviously those you could edit your HTML in Notepad, Dreamweaver, etc, etc. I'm doing it right here in Coding Gen. And um, now we got to go to YouTube and get the code required. So I'm going to go to YouTube. I'm going to search for one of my videos. Let's do this one. So click on this video here, click the share button, embed, and then we have the iframe script provided by YouTube. Go back into coding gen, my HTML file, I'm going to paste that, and I'm going to save. Alright, now that's saved, I'm going to test this, so I'm going to go webpage.codinggen slash wdp.html alright so there's our YouTube video so now I'm going to go back to Webdim Pro and I'm going to add that URL and change the width to 600 pixels activate and test. Click on our action link. There we go. So we have a good width. We probably want to change our height a little bit. So go back to our pop-up. Change the height to 400. Save. Activate. And test again. There we go. You can play that rate right within our WebDIN Pro modal. Very cool. Thanks for watching.